Download HDPARM from the link down below along with my edited script. Install HDPARM and then add to its files my own edited script. Right click on HDPARM.exe, hit properties, hit compatibility, then tick the run this program in compatibility for and then choose Windows XP SP3 and tick the run this program as an administrator box as well. Next open up start, type run, hit enter. Inside the run box type shell column startup. The Windows startup folder will open up. Create a shortcut to my script in there. Once you reboot, you'll see that two CMD windows will briefly flash at startup indicating that the script has applied successfully and that all your freezing problems are fixed. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Raro Zaizo and today we're looking at this laptop. I'm not going to review the laptop. I'm going to fix one major issue this laptop has that makes it completely useless in most cases. So this is a gaming laptop and what you'd expect out of this is playing a game smoothly without any lag. And this does its job beautifully until it doesn't. And that's where the problem is. Occasionally while you're playing games on it, the whole laptop will freeze for 2-4 to four seconds. The sound will repeat and then everything will recover. If you're in a competitive kind of game where every split second matters, like say CSGO, you'll die within these 2-4 to four seconds. Luckily I have discovered the true problem a fix and a free workaround. While I was monitoring every temperature sensor I can monitor and looking at several different temperature, usage and frequency graphs, I initially noticed that the GPU inside this laptop practically shuts off for 2-4 to four seconds at random times. The first thought that comes after seeing this is that the GPU is throttling so hard. So my main objective was to make sure that this was the issue before proceeding with fixing it somehow. So I did a simple yet extremely effective hardware mod that made the laptop run as cool as my own freezer in the apartment. I have opened it up and removed the air filter located between the fans and the exterior vents. This mod lowered my CPU and GPU temperatures immensely, but did not fix the freezing problem, so GPU throttling wasn't the problem. The real problem was something that nobody on the internet thought of. It's the hard drive. The Lenovo Y700 packs in two storage devices, a 128GB M.2 Samsung SSD and a 1TB 5400RPM Western Digital blue HDD. Windows is located on the SSD along with whatever programs you might want to install there, while big programs and data are located on the HDD including games. You may or may not have noticed that I specifically said that the HDD is a western digital blue. This means that what Lenovo went with is an energy efficient hard drive that spins down as soon as no data is required to be accessed from it. Which poses a big problem. When you load up a game, the loading screen is there so that the HDD can transfer its data to RAM. While you're playing your game, most assets are already in RAM, so no data is required from the HDD anymore. The HDD spins down and you're playing the game normally. If, for whatever reason, the game has to save your progress, or load an asset, or just do whatever with its data, it has to wait for the HDD to spin back up to 5400 RPM so that data can be accessed again. This causes the GPU to wait for the HDD to turn on so that it can keep rendering the assets again, thus causing the freezing. The solution to this is to remove the whole HDD and replace it with one that is not energy efficient, like a Western Digital Black one, or simply any SSD will do. A workaround to this is changing the Advanced Power Management or APM control and set this to FEH. You can do this using the method mentioned in the beginning of the video. And you can check if my method applied correctly by installing Crystal Disk Info from the link down below. Then going to Function, Advanced Feature, AAM slash APM Control, then choosing the HDD from the box at the top of that window. 
use this only to check if the script works fine. If the value here is FEH, then your HDD won't spin down again and you won't have any freezing issues. If it is somewhere in the middle, then the script didn't work right. The script uses HDPARM to set the APM value of HDB, the second storage device, which is the HDD, HDA being the first storage device, which is the SSD, to 254, which in hexadecimal value is FE. We've added it to startup so it can execute at each startup because on every reboot the APM value will reset. Always make sure that Crystal Disk Info is fully closed before opening it again to check if the value has been changed. Because Crystal Disk Info doesn't update its APM value until being fully restarted. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you finally fixed this major Y700 bug. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this and I'll see you guys soon.